Hi, everyone. Sean Jones with the iNetrepreneur Network. I'm the CEO, and today I'm really excited because I have Natalie McQueen. She is all about creating a legacy through gifts. And she has such a unique business. She's also one of our panel experts at the Art of Connection event happening on April 27th. Uh, Natalie is just a very dynamic woman who works with so many different people, whether it's the families to the entrepreneurs to even your teams that are looking to create a legacy. Natalie, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So Natalie, you know, you know, I could, I can tell you, we we know what you do. Well, I know what you do, and I can rave about you all day long. But you also know that at my very core, I always believe in getting to know the person behind the business. And I always say, as adults, when we meet someone for the first time, it's always, so what do you do? And we just talk about our, you know, our careers. But we don't really take the time to get to know what led us up to that path. I mean, in some cases, it takes us several months, several meetings to really know know someone. I would love for you to share a little bit about your personal journey. Who is Natalie and how did you get to where you're at today? Okay, thank you. So I'm Natalie McQueen and I'm the founders, founder of Gift of Legacy a best-selling author, and I'm the Create Your Legacy speaker and coach. And it actually took a near-death experience to bring me to this company. And um, I'm actually writing my book to tell my story. Um, So I'm not going to give you any spoiler (laughs) there. But it really awakened and made me totally see how important it is for people to leave their legacies. So Gift of Legacy is a heart-centered company that really focuses on helping families um, to organize and to put their legacies together. And we really care deeply about how you do that because legacy has so many different layers. It is not just a few pictures stuck in an album or a family recipe book. Um, There's everything from um, your wills, your um, accounts that, you know, if something happens to you, who has the passwords for all your accounts? Which accounts are on monthly uh, subscriptions that are just gonna keep going unless someone has access to shut those down? Think about your personal, your social accounts, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, all of those accounts. Do you want to keep those going or do you want someone to have access and shut them down? So your legacy is so much bigger than um, what people think about. And we kind of think about it as when we bring someone into the world you know, a baby comes in and we're taking pictures and having parties. And, you know, we do so much to get that um, child started in life. Well, what about going out of this lifetime, totally organized, not being a burden on somebody else and having thought about the creation of what you want to leave for future generations? That's incredible. You know, when we're, and I'll just use myself as an example, when we're in our teens and our 20s, we think we're going to live forever. <laughs> yep. Some of us start families early. Some of us start later in life. I was one of those later ones. And some, they never have children, but their legacy goes beyond just that immediate family. Leaving a legacy can involve your friends, Absolutely. people that you do business with. It's about the people that you don't even know, that you've never met, that you can make a difference in their world. So I I don't know, maybe for me being my 40s, I thought a lot more about what is it that I'm leaving? I have kids, I have them set up, but what else can I do? You know, I always say we are all granted one life. Right. And how we choose to live our life and make a difference, you 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 give them that. 
I mean, I love what you do. Now, share with us a little bit, Natalie, about the types of clients that you work with. Sure. I want to um, just tag on something that you said. You're so right because your legacy, some people think it's you're just your direct family. But as we're out there doing business and we're serving others with what we do, like the, if you look at some of the mentors and think about who has touched your life, you could have touched those people's lives. So how, who did you impact and how did you impact their life? And most of us um, think, oh, I just live the everyday life and I don't do anything special. But through our journey of life, our mistakes, um, the traditions that were passed down, everything that we do and say and the people we touch makes us who we are. And that's what's so important to carry forward and to think every day, at the end of the day, who, who do I want to impact or have impacted? And what is, um, what is it that I want to be remembered for? And that's when we provide coaching services, we take the person and sit them down, especially, you know, millennials and above there's so many people doing the everyday jobs that they're not happy with. And if they could sit down and really plan out and get clarity on what they want their legacy to be, that's going to affect their everyday life on how they live. Um, it's going to influence their day to day decisions on, is this bringing me closer to my goals and to my my legacy missions, or is it, you know, sitting watching Netflix all day? Is that really helping me make an impact? And we all don't have to be on stage talking to thousands of people to make an impact. It could be that librarian that takes the extra time and shares some special books in the library to many people. And you know, it, it's, you can have such a different impact and big or small, it, it's all worth sharing um, for sure. Sorry. <laughs> it, it, no, it really is. Uh, you know, I, I love to be out someplace and just even random casual conversations. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. your words the recipient, somebody, a complete stranger who's never met you, whatever it is that you're talking about in random passing, it was meant to be, that's my personal belief. It was meant to be, there was something that they needed to hear. And I can't tell you how many times that I've had some off the wall conversations and walking away, the person <laughs> says, I'm glad I met you. Yes. I needed to hear this. <clears throat> yep. And I never thought about it at first. I just thought, you know, I love being social. I'm a social animal. Right. And, and um, but I didn't really realize that my experiences were making that impact on others. Right. Not because I was self-conscious or, um, you know, had low, low confidence. It was, I just never really gave it much thought. Right. You think that what you know and what you've gone through in your life is just, the regular thing, but other people haven't experienced what you've experienced. So think about this. There's 7.846 billion people in the world. So that is 7.86 or 846 mistakes to learn from, stories to be inspired from, lessons, life lessons to learn. <clears throat> there's, there's so many ways that we can celebrate each other. And that is one thing that we're bringing to the table is our legacy talks. And think of it as a, a very mini casual TED talk that you take one of your pivotal moments or your life lessons or a tradition that you cherish and you share it with others in the community. And we learn from each other we learn to have more compassion um, for people when you understand <clears throat> maybe what they went through. 
Um, and why not learn to really embrace and love the differences of people? Because sometimes we don't understand why people do what they do. And when we get to know them, get to know our community a little better, the differences, and um, we can really appreciate those differences. And it brings something to the table. They have different gifts than you have. Absolutely. And sometimes it's through creating, uh, through opportunities mm -hmm. that gives us an opportunity to reflect inward. Uh, a great example is thanks to you and some others. I was recently uh, an author contributor in, in one of your books. Yes. And it was by sharing my personal story, which I'm okay with it, you know, and you'll have to catch the book uh, yeah. to read it. But it, it allowed me to put it, you know, my thoughts, my feelings down on paper for the world to read and talk about bearing your soul. And if you know my personal journey, there was, it was pretty, <laughs> wow, <laughs> pretty direct. But it also allowed me to go back to somebody in my life and say, I wrote this. This is how I have felt. And I am glad I shared it. Yes. And the person that I was referring to came back and said, I never knew. I'm sorry. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. And it was like, yep. it was an aha moment. And then along my own personal journey, there was something that I had really wished that I had done. And through writing and, you know, I've talked about it out loud. And since writing that book, I've actually made, made some personal steps. And I'm thinking, my kids are going to see what I'm doing at my age. That's part of creating a legacy, too. Absolutely. Being a mentor to your kids, your family, your friends, your and being authentically you and saying, oh, my gosh, I screwed up. That was horrible. And I'm sorry. Or I learned from that life lesson. Not going to do that again. And I can learn from somebody else how to go forward better. Um, one of the things I mean, we have so many products of beautiful legacy books where you can you know, not everybody's a writer and that's fine, but people that are, we can help them do um, like a memoir book. People that aren't, we have ways where you can tell your story and we bring it into a beautiful legacy book tied in with some traditions, funny stories, um, anything from recipes to amazing family pictures. And, and that's the fun part is we, sometimes do family books and we'll take one picture that incorporates say four or five people in the family and we get them to tell the brief little description of that picture guess what there's four or five different renditions of that one picture and i just think it's hilarious because we all live our life through our own you know perspective and even though they were all there celebrating together and, or, you know, sharing that experience, it was different for each person. Absolutely. And, um, something to think about too is, you know, being our age, <laughs> um, sometimes we think we're running out of time to start this. And we have boxes of photos in the garage and what do I do with them and how do I protect them? And we have um, a partner, partnering company that helps take all those boxes of photos, create or save them into current time, you know, if you want them saved in the cloud type of thing or saved um, on a, a stick, however you want them but we guarantee that those uh, documents and pictures and old videotapes are um, saved for a hundred years. So it's something that you can um, put together, organize, and then um, plan amazing gifts and a legacy book that would be very meaningful. That's incredible. Well, Natalie, I see that you have all of your contact information up. Is there any other ways that people can get in touch with you? 
Yes, um, I have a link tree. So it's um, link tr.ee forward slash Natalie McQueen 22. Wonderful. Well, Natalie, I want to thank you so much for sharing your business gifts of legacy. And thank you for everything that you do to help people really leave their thumbprint in the world. Thank you very much.